There'll be nine laps to go when the field comes to the start-finish line. This time, we're getting down to settling the Winston 500. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is the leader. Bobby Labonte is second. The lap car of Tony Stewart is next in line before you get back to Mike Skinner and Ricky Rudd, who run third and fourth lead lap cars there are 27 of them they're all in the big pack that steams across the stripe and heads back for turn one Dale Earnhardt Jr. shows the way Bobby Labonte sitting just behind him both hugging the inside lane of the racetrack now Skinner runs third but again he has the lap car of Tony Stewart to clear and Stewart wants to get by and get back in this thing here goes Skinner on the move diving underneath Stewart Mike Skinner has seen enough of the lap car he will dive low on Tony Stewart and all the lead lap cars will go with him Skinner to third run to fourth fifth down to John Andrews Ready, six will be Steve Grissom. We always see Skinner trying to make these moves late in the race. This is usual for him. He's going to look to the low side of the racetrack and tuck right in now. So here come the leaders off the corner. They'll close in on a slower machine just ahead of them. Johnny Benson has just made a pit stop. And we're about to settle the question here with just eight laps to go as they cross the line. Do you need to be leading or do you need to be running second or third to make a run on the leader? Right now, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is the leader as they go back to turn number one. Can he hang on to it? Bobby Labonte sits behind him at a car length back. Skinner now has cleared the lap traffic. You've got Ricky Rudd and John Andretti, who have been strong all day. Steve Grissom up here in the top ten, putting on a late race charge. Here's Matt Kenseth going after him. He looks underneath Grissom on the back straightaway. Kenseth takes a look to the inside. Grissom moves a little bit to the left, takes the lane away. Kenseth forced to drop back in line. Then right behind him is Ward Burton. Then side by side, Mark Martin on the comeback trail. Mark Martin is there. Just about a half groove higher than him was Dale Jarrett. He sneaks a peak up there and he's going to stay. Dale Jarrett tries the high side. Hasn't any big drafting help right now but now it forms in behind him. Seven laps to go when they come to the start finish line this time. The draft behind Dale Jarrett is Dale Earnhardt but that's it. Just two cars. Jeff Burton and Joe Nemechek cut to their inside. Kind of leave them hanging out. Here's Jerry Nadeau cutting between cars up in front of Jarrett in the outside lane. Trying to work the high side of the racetrack, falling in line behind Mark Martin, trying to hook that draft up in the outside lane here late in the race. Let's see if it'll work. Here's Dale Jarrett squeezing back to the inside lane. No, they go nowhere. They're falling back, losing spots. In front of the pack, Bobby Labonte tries to take a peek to the inside of Dale Earnhardt Jr., but little E will have none of it. He runs below the yellow line all the way down the back straightaway and holds him off. Mark Martin still trying to make a move up upside happening. Likewise for Matt Kenseth. He goes to the high side. Now Kenseth and Mark Martin begin to form up that outside draft as they steam off turn number four. Bernhardt Jr. leads. Bobby Labonte second. Mike Skinner third. Ricky Rudd fourth. And John Andretti fifth. And Steve Grissom has moved up into sixth place. Do you make your move early or do you wait until that final lap? Bobby Labonte's got to make that decision very shortly. And so does Mike Skinner. They go back to two. And Dale Bernhardt Jr. has to worry about who's going to do what and when they're going to do it. For now, he's got his hands full, charging back into turn number two. Bobby Labonte inches off his rear deck. Here's Skinner now, flashing down low, showing what he may be doing. Dale Jarrett also drops out of line. Jarrett tried to take a peek to the inside, couldn't find any room. Elliot Sadler gets shuffled to the high lane. Elliot, with no help at all, is going to go backwards. Now Joe Nemechek gets shuffled into the high lane with him. So he and Elliot Sadler will try and hook up together, while closer to the front, Mark Martin begins to climb up the banking as well. Off turn number four, Dale Earnhardt Jr., with Bobby Labonte and Skinner right behind him. Remember Mark Martin involved in the incident with pit, uh, with Bobby Hamilton coming to pit road. Some damage to his car. He's being shuffled back at this point as they come to the stripe. Five laps to go in the race. Dale Jr. holds off Bobby Labonte. Single file freight train charging up the banking of turn number one with Dale Earnhardt Jr. hanging on to the top spot. Bobby Labonte every now and then will peek to the inside. will peek to the outside. He's got to be concerned about Mike Skinner. Skinner trying to dive down low up off the corner. Skinner looking low. Labonte looking low. Everybody trying to fight their way to the inside. Dale Earnhardt Jr. at the start of the day still had something to learn. He said about drafting. He'll get his master's degree in the next five laps. We'll all find Find out if the word slingshot is back in the Talladega vocabulary here in about five laps. Off turn number four, Dale Earnhardt Jr. waiting, watching, wondering when the move's going to come. And for Jeff Gordon, who restarted a moment ago as the leader, he has slid all the way back to 15th position. He's mired up in that traffic back there with nowhere to go. Here's Mike Skinner diving out from behind. Bobby Labonte going to put a run on. Is he going to get some drafting help as he goes after the lead over toward turn two? John Andretti pulls in line behind Mike Skinner to provide the push of the outside lane. Now, let's see if it'll work. He also gets help from Dale Jarrett. He gets to the outside with Terry Labonte, Elliot Sadler as well, helping to push from the outside. Skinner making the run on the outside. Matt Kenseth is down in the grass, throws up a big rooster tail of dirt, but manages to hold 
hold on to it. Skinner on the outside takes the lead to three. And now Earnhardt Jr. may not hang on to second spot because John Andretti is there. Off the corner, it's Skinner by a half car lane. He has the advantage. Down low, it's Earnhardt Jr. Andretti to his outside. It's Skinner, and here comes Andretti in the middle. John Andretti breaking down to the inside behind Skinner, now breaking to the outside. They're going to come three and four wide to the start-finish line. Three laps to go. Andretti by Skinner to the lead. They're banging fenders for the lead into turn one. Four deep for the top spot. Andretti has it momentarily. Now it's Skinner who squeezes down to the inside. Dale Jarrett and Terry Labonte stacked up on the high side of the banking, but Skinner is strongest right now. He'll lead off turn number two. Earnhardt Jr. is second. Four wide for third. Everybody holding their lane. Four abreast. Down the back straight away it's Skinner with the lead with Earnhardt Jr. in hot pursuit in second. Then three wide for third. Labonte, Andretti, and Terry Labonte. Terry Labonte's not going to make that move pay off. He's going to go backward. Meanwhile, up front, Skinner looking, waiting, watching. Earnhardt Jr. tightens in behind him. John Andretti drops back just a little bit further. The lead is going to be Skinner. Then Earnhardt Jr. and Bobby Labonte, and here comes Earnhardt up the middle. They don't race anywhere in the world like they do at Talladega. The laps are winding down. There'll be two to go as they work their way back down to the line this time. Mike Skinner is the leader. Earnhardt Jr. rides right behind him. Can he hang on to the lead? He made a daring move ago, a minute ago to get it. Can he keep it? They're back in two. Just behind the front two, you've got Bobby Labonte and Dale Earnhardt. They're racing side by side. Earnhardt trying to get some drafting help to move up on the outside. Labonte hoping to squeeze to the inside and make a move. And here he goes, looking underneath Dale Jr. They are side by side, but Labonte can't make the move. Has to tuck it back in line. Mike Skinner guarding the bottom with for everything he's worth. And here comes Dale Earnhardt to the outside. He'll challenge for the lead in three. Dale Earnhardt goes powering high to the outside of Mike Skinner. The fans just beside themselves here at Talladega. Jumping up and down, yelling screaming. Off the corner they come two by two. You can't tell them apart. Skinner and Earnhardt. This is going to be a whale of a finish. White flag lap as they come down to the line. One to go. Racing for the lead in the Winston 500. Contact between Earnhardt Jr. and Skinner. Bobby Labonte tries to sandwich in. Meanwhile, the outside lane is long gone as they get to turn one. Dale Earnhardt leads the way. Now it is Kenny Wallace who moves up to the second position on the final lap of the Winston 500. Joe Nemechek pulls up into the third position. It is a three-car breakaway. Last trip down the back stretch. Decision time at Talladega as Dale Earnhardt tries to do it again. But here comes Kenny Wallace looking to the outside lane. Earnhardt blocks him going into three. Three car race for the win. Kenny Wallace looking for that breakthrough victory. Earnhardt trying to block him high and low. Nobody jumping out of line. Here come the leaders off the corner. It's going to be a three-way battle for the win. They'll come by the Ted Musgrave car with Earnhardt leading. Here they come into the trioval. Kenny Wallace one final shot at Dale Earnhardt Behind him, the whole pack steaming for the finish line. Dale Earnhardt wins it. Earnhardt wins the Winston 500 as there's trouble after the finish. Ward Burton spins. Car is spinning. Steve Grissom crashes after the checkered flag. About six cars are involved down in turn number one. But it is over here at Talladega. Dale Earnhardt has won the race. Unbelievable finish. Absolutely unreal racing here. Again, there is trouble as they went off to turn number one when the checkered flag had just come out. Ward Burton was one of those cars. A lot of smoke down toward the corner. And Earnhardt goes on around the racetrack to enjoy his win. Here comes Ward Burton back. We're looking to see who some of the other cars are involved down there as we're waiting for the smoke to clear. But Ward is okay. His car just got turned up, wrinkled a little bit in the rear end, but he will go back to the garage. Dave Blaney was involved. Also, Stacy Compton has a good bit of damage. Both those cars able to to drive away. It also appears Ricky Craven may have got some of that. Those are the cars able to roll after the crash. Steve Park and Rich Bickle also involved in the accident after they took the checkered flag. Dale Earnhardt was 15th on the final restart with 15 laps to go. Got the lead coming to the white flag and held off Kenny Wallace over the final lap to score the win. And he really hadn't gone any place for 10 of those 15 laps from that last restart. Let's go to victory lane. Well, this big Earnhardt smile tells it all, but... Where in the world did you come from, 15th on that last restart? I was very lucky. I, I was very frustrated a lot, but very lucky. Uh, I kept working the, the outside, and it didn't work. Got three wide, didn't work. So I started working the middle, and I, I knew I had to pass those guys on the inside. I kept working the middle. I kept working the middle, and finally it started moving. And uh, and then Kenny Wallace got behind us, and boy, when Kenny got behind us, we started to the front. And we just kept working away there and working away there. We finally got it to the front, and Kenny hung on. I, you know, he's going to try to make a move down the back straightaway, but I kept moving, and he just couldn't really run and make a run on me. And um, it worked out. And then he stuck with me through the uh, three and four and back to the line. And I was, I was proud to make old Richard uh, 
Schwartz here, a, a millionaire. He's he's uh, worked awful hard all his life, and uh, he deserves it. And uh, Winston's awful good about putting this thing together. And I've, I've been involved in a couple no bull pies and uh, never won one. It's pretty unique to win one. Uh, your, your engine build over there, Danny Lawrence said, we're going to... We're going to make our move with five laps to go. <laughs> he said, we're going to win this race. I'm I didn't glad, believe I'm glad he knew it. I didn't know it. Uh, and it was a, a winner. You know, it didn't. It, it was one of them deals that it, nobody really knew. And it, it had to be uh, somebody had to help you and work with you. And uh, they thought that's what was going to happen. And Skinner was on the bottom. And I was running. I, I mean, I couldn't pull him behind Skinner and help him. Dale Jr. was there. So I just took the outside to him and, and raced on around him with uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny Wallace by him. And worked out great. There was a decision on the tires, on whether you take none, rights, or left. I think I think the two tires we could, took right sides really really helped us because I could turn the car and do things in the corner that, that I wouldn't have been able to do, and I think that helped us get back. All right. Do you like this the uh, way it is right now better than before? No. <laughs> I don't like restrictor plate racing. <laughs> All right. Well, I think Andy Schindler's coming over here uh, to present you a check. So come over here, Andy. Hey, champ. <laughs> Great race, buddy. Outstanding job. Hey, I, did, I didn't hurt you batting a thousand here, did I? No, you didn't. You kept the game here. I'm seven for seven. In recognition of your great victory today, Dale, here's a check for No Ball 5 winner, $1 million. And, and also, and also Richard Sturts from Cumberland, Maryland, $1 million. Well, that's the celebration down here at Victory Lane as Dale Earnhardt and Richard Sturtz of Maryland hold up their checks for $1 million. Dale Earnhardt is the winner, finishing second, Kenny Wallace. And incidentally, that's Kenny Wallace's first top five in the entire 2,000-year season. But, boy, he had a day here today at Talladega. Joe Nemechek ran third. Jeff Gordon bounced back and came home fourth. Terry Labonte finished fifth. Gifts sixth to Mike Skinner. Mark Martin finished seventh. Rusty Wallace ran eighth. Mike Bliss was ninth. Great day for Mike. Matt Kenseth had a good day also. He'll finish tenth. Ricky Rudd, eleventh. Bobby Labonte is twelfth. Jerry Nadeau finished thirteenth. Dale Earnhardt Jr., fourteenth. Fifteenth was Dale Jarrett. Sixteenth was Steve Grissom. Give a call to Steve. He put in a good performance here today also. Finishing 17th was Elliot Sadler. Chad Little ran 18th. Steve Park was 19th. 20th was John Andretti. 21st goes to Rich Bickle. 22nd to Ward Burton. 23rd to Stacey Compton. 24th to Bill Elliott. Robert Presley was 25th. Brett Bonine finished 26th. Tony Stewart, 27th. Dave Blaney was 28th. And Jeff Burton finished 29th. And Ricky Craven make up the top. 30, and I'm out of breath. 31st was Rick Mass today, Ted Musgrave, 32nd, Johnny Benson, 33rd, Michael Waltrip, 34th, and Darrell Waltrip, 35th, Bobby Hamilton was 36th, Ken Schrader, 37th, Jimmy Spencer, 38th, Scott Pruitt, 39th, and Dave Marcus, 40th, 41st to Sterling Marlin, Jeremy Mayfield was 42nd, and Kevin LePage finished in 43rd position. Time of the race, 3 hours, 1 minute, and 53 seconds. 49 lead changes among 22 drivers. Only three caution flags in the event. Eight of the 43 starters failed to finish on the lead lap at the checkered flag. 26 of the 43 starters. And now the unofficial championship standings. Dale Earnhardt will close to 210 points behind Bobby Labonte with four races to go. This is the NASCAR Winston Cup Series heads to Rockingham, North Carolina next Sunday afternoon. So I want to wrap it up here today by thanking our pit runner, Ron Thomas, and our production assistants, Jim Norton, Dan Albert, Don Champion, and Greg Hobbs, and the voices you heard call the action of the Winston 500. Joe Moore, Dave Moody, and Eli Gold in the corners, Jim Phillips, Winston Kelly, and Marty Snyder in the pit and garage areas. For Barney Hall, I'm Alan Bestwick, saying so long from Talladega. I need a rest after this one. 49 lead changes, and Dale Earnhardt scores the victory in the Winston 500.